All right, cleaning this old cast iron after you've used it, whether you've cooked gravy in this old skillet or a peach cobbler in that old Dutch oven, whatever it takes, usually the first thing you're going to do, rinse her out with hot water. If it's something that's like an old cobbler or something that's stuck, you may have to set this thing over here and let it soak for a little while before you can get after it. I like to use the soft side of a sponge just to make sure that I'm getting all the residue out of here, whether it be gravy, barbecue sauce, anything like that. And you can just take it because it's not the greedy side. We're not going to hurt this cast iron. We're not doing away with any of our seasoning. We're just making sure we can get all that foreign body out of there. Pour her out, rinse her one more time with hot water. Take her back to where we was before on the different steps of drying this thing out. Dutch oven, that's a little different deal. We cooked an old cobbler in here. It's stuck. We got to visiting with some fella old bird. We wasn't paying no attention. Now it's done set there for about two days. We need to get it out. If you can't do it by soaking it and you can't get it scraped out of there with an old wooden spoon or a wooden spatula because don't like to use metal on cast iron because you're getting some of your seasoning scraped out of it. So this whole thing won't come out no more. I mean, you've scraped on it. There's still a residue in there that you can't get it. This thing going to leak. Take dynamite to get that thing out of there. No. Take this, go outside, set her in the fire. We're not going to leave it for a long period of time because we don't get want we don't want to get rid of all our seasoning in this oven. We just want to burn that leftover cobbler and stuff off this piece of iron. It'll flake off her just like dust, I promise. Then take a good rag, brush that deal out, get all your foreign material out of there. Let it cool first just a little because it's going to burn your fingers, I promise. Then we can bring it in here. Rinse it out good with hot water. Take that old sponge, make sure you get it in all the corners. One thing that I will tell you, you'll find out that when you're cleaning cast iron, stuff is in a corner, stuff is rounded. Whether you use a spatula or old wooden spoon, you take it to a grinder. You take it to something where it fits that surface in the corner well. So when you're going around here, it's not a square edge that's hidden. It's a rounded edge, so you can get stuff likes to live and breathe in the corners of cast iron. If you don't ever clean it, keep it clean that way. Get her clean. Rinse her out one more time with hot water. You set her on the fire. Set her on the oven. Dry her out. Reseason. You're good to go.